hello there welcome back again to another video if you're new here hi welcome my name is lillian if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in so let's talk about that sensitive topic that many people are too afraid to talk about i want to talk about why you see so many yahoo boys in ghana internet fraudsters in ghana why ghana became an alternative home for them this is because of the crackdown on them going on in nigeria because of what lack of electricity back in nigeria because when they stay back home in nigeria and they are into these things you're always at home pressing your computer you know you need electricity in ghana has attracted so many internet fraudsters to ghana so majority of the time people see most guys around them uh, that are nigerians and they see that they are into this business it is not because they represent nigerians back at home in nigeria there is not a froster or into some shady shady deal uh they rather stay back in nigeria and their main goal if at all they want to jackpa which is if they want to leave nigeria their target place is always not any african african countries they just want to go to canada the uk the us where they can get jobs opportunities where they have um where there are rules on ground and when you follow the rules you stand a chance to benefit from that country so these are places that legitimate nigerians would rather go not african countries so when you see a lot of nigerians in ghana and you look around you and you are all we are wondering you have seen like 10 nigerians and all of them are into the same thing pressing their computer and you're wondering if the ones in ghana are like that what happens in nigeria it means that everybody in nigeria is into that well in this video i just want to surprise you see the reason you see them in ghana everywhere you go they are the ones and you wonder why are nigerians like this it's because of lack of electricity back home and that is giving them away easily to the police here in ghana you can choose to be at the comfort of your home and nobody will know if you are in or out but in nigeria it's not possible because of a lack of electricity when the light goes off and they own generator and then the sound of generator from morning to night or from morning to the following morning police will begin to look at that house as a red flag you get it i mean efcc the economic and financial crime commission of nigeria will start to put an eye on that compound on that building on that apartment when they see that generator is always the sound always coming out from there there'll be questions like ah, what does this person do for a living this person don't this person go out don't this person do this so that gives them away and the police will want to come and know why you are always using your generator you are always at home why are you not out there like the rest of the people around you so that gives them away and get them into trouble faster saying so you see them running to ghana and other neighboring countries where electricity supply is stable so this is why it's a very sensitive topic and i'm not afraid to say it as it is yes we have legitimate nigerians living in ghana to get it because we have seen so many of the shady shady ones they have overshadowed the ones that are here legitimately hustling legitimately doing things buying and selling doing business with and just doing things normal to get it because of when you see out of 100 nigerians in ghana you realize that you may have seen like 40 percent uh, into that shady business and you just be like 40 percent already is too much and you be like oh maybe that is how everybody in nigeria is okay not to say they are not there doing it but in nigeria they get into trouble a lot more faster than they get into trouble in ghana and that is why it has become the heaven for them i made a video interviewing a young nigerian guy who is into skincare here in ghana and we talked about why he think they are choosing ghana over nigeria i talked about how the government of ghana and that of nigeria can put an end to this and because it's very simple if you do not want these people around you not by police constantly harassing them no that is never going to put an end to them it's by police holding them and holding them accountable for their acts punishing them by the time 
10 or 20 of them are being sentenced to prison or being sent back home to their country the rest wouldn't want to come so it's very simple if you don't want yahoo yahoo boys in your country it's very simple it's very easy to put an end to them or maybe the girls at the roadside you go you see a girl a young girl standing naked at the roadside half naked looking for customers and that eye is being looked at me with like oh after all you're a nigerian so what are you doing in ghana see all of these things can be you can you can send these people back home to nigeria they will not even hate you for it and nobody will accuse you of uh, xenophobia nobody will accuse you of anything people at home will be happy that you sent their people back due to bad behavior so if we truly want to eradicate unwanted behavior it's very easy to do it it's very very easy because sometimes i get hot when i see um a nigerian who is doing things legally going through that stigma because he or she is a nigerian we deal with that okay i deal with that and it hurts me because the main person that bring about that behavior is actually out there living feeling free you need to go to places where this girl stands at night you will be shocked how loud they are they speak loud walk freely nobody harass them but during the day we that are here striving and struggling to survive legitimately we have to pay for their sins you want to get a house they'll tell you no we can't give you because you're a nigerian you want to do this they'll say no you can't be there because i don't want problem you know so i think for us to put an end to it is by stopping these people from coming is if the police are ready to say no to all these vices it's very simple you stop these people from coming or you get them arrested and return them home personally i will not be offended if that happens if you are a legitimate young nigerian coming to ghana you are selling something you are creating something you're yeah, creating something okay i have to talk about creating something because i create something so if you're selling something doing something legitimate you are into you know leg legitimate things i don't think you should be the, that stigma should go on like people being so careful people are so careful about you for me i've had to deal with so many heartbreaks not from Ghanaians, maybe americans who want to do business with me there'll be advice someone would tell them be careful she's a nigerian be careful she's a so we can send all of those bad people that are making us so low away and have the good ones stay so it's very simple if we want a free this internet this thing if you want to keep Ghana clean from all this vice it's very simple the police has a solution to it or the government because without the government giving the police the power to do it it's difficult for them to do it it's beyond just not having papers as a Nigerian because most of the people without papers in Ghana uh, even the legitimate ones who do not have money to go through the process of getting their passport and all that a nigerian who want to escape like me now i've escaped please i beg you i have passport biko i have passport too don't come for me mm -hmm. a nigerian who wants to escape from nigeria they are usually the one without id cards without passport because they can't even afford it all right but these people that you look at and be like they are the one bringing bad names to nigerians in ghana they can afford it because they are into some real bad deal where they make money and they can afford a lot of these papers they can afford the passport they can they are not illegal in ghana they don't sneak in some of them even have bank accounts they work freely and sometimes the police knows what they do for a living but because god the authority has not been given to them to send them out to say no like to clean up the country to understand free from these people because it's until the government empower the police to do that that is when the police can act so for me i know it's very simple and maybe you should give it a try and see yeah what do you think <laughs> don't hit me down there i love my people because i'm saying this i know a lot of nigerians that are in ghana doing legitimate business apart from me that is striving to survive doing youtube doing other things okay there are so many me out there 
but because because we have a lot of people who want a shortcut it has made it look like all of us are into it a few weeks ago i was returning from my site also and there were ladies that jumped into the bus at a certain bus stop there were a lot of nigerian girls that were in that bus and they were so loud and some of them were half naked they were dressing so indecently and they were just loud and talking freely me where we say are they hustle for ghana legitimately are they like this shame they catch me and if you raise my head up if you truly want that unity you want to show love without fear tell the government to go house to house and the police should not be taking settlements again once you are caught you should return you should be returned home and then you see that everywhere will be soft and you then that is when you know that nigerians are loving until then the bad ones won't let you see roots eh? ah this video maybe i'll post it or maybe i'll not but you guys they do me if my ching bang do bang up on my head i'll post it if you do bang i'll leave it but what we do bagam so i'll post it thank you for watching this one i'll see you in my next one bye